when I started off, I'd be like, well, what's good? You can do this joke, so you gotta do that too. Okay, you ready? So, three, two, two one. What? What's good? No, like, you gotta have energy with it though. Oh, Like, my. you gotta be loud, like, low key, like, huh? <laughs> you gotta be loud with it though, like, it's like a what's good, like, it's energy in it. Okay. So, three, two, one. What's good, YouTube? It's they we're back at it with another video. Today, I'm here with. Trinity and Naya. And what school you go to, Trinity? Go to Spelman College. Type. And I go to Morehouse. And in today's video, we're coming at y'all with 10 things we wish we knew before going to a HBCU because I feel like it's not a lot of videos on the internet explaining like what you're really getting yourself into exactly. when you step into these HBCU territories. You feel me? So my first question for you though would be like, what has been your favorite part of your HBCU? And I'm gonna answer this too. Um, so my favorite part is definitely been like being around like-minded black people. Uh -huh. It's a lot of excellence and it's a lot of, it pushes you to be better mm -hmm. with all the people you meet. Cause once you step on your campus, it's gonna be a lot of opportunities. It's gonna be a lot of amazing people that you just look up to. Mm -hmm. And it's just filled with excellence. My favorite thing would also be like, it's filled with excellence. You're surrounded by a lot of people, like she said, but like, it's just a lot of beautiful people at HBCUs. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't see it often. Like, you're just surrounded by hella black people. Like, and it's, it's rare that you'll find yourself in that situation. Mm -hmm. So, back to the video. 10 things we wish we knew. I'm gonna let you go first. <laughs> you feel me? I'm gonna let you go first and okay, I'm gonna go well, second with it. There you go. Um, okay, so the first thing I would say, I wish I knew is that they rarely give out money like they are very stingy like mm -hmm. and it's very hard to get a scholarship from your hbcu and then you gotta like press them to even get some money out of them so mm -hmm. i would definitely say outside scholarships is very important outside scholarships how many outside scholarships do you think you did racked up over the years Ooh, it's been a few of them mm -hmm. I, I can't even count <laughs> Yo, i know i got i got a lot of them before my freshman year like i would have a scholarship brunch like every saturday because yeah. like they not giving out no money like that for real but like i don't know why they don't yeah, Cause I'm, I know they got it exactly, but like they just you know don't. Just got yeah, million, yeah, they got a hundred million. So <laughs> Spelman we're not giving out that money next year. Like you know something. Yeah. Up. All right, my first thing I'm gonna say is that discipline is key, bro. Cause mm -hmm. when you go to an HBCU, I know I fell victim to it at first a little bit. Like it's a party every weekend. Mm -hmm. Like you feel me? Like it's just a party. People send you party flyers. Like you gonna want to go at first, but like you gotta make sure you're getting your work done. You feel me? So discipline is key. Fellas, all my fellas out there, these ladies, they gonna try to distract you. I not gonna lie, they gonna try to distract you. So you really gotta lock oh in, bro. You God. can't you can't be no simp, bro. You gotta lock in on your work. Remember why you here and get them get them grades. Nah, because on my I think I don't know what I signed up my freshman year, but every every day they send send me a party that's gonna be happening I tonight. Still, like I, yeah, I still be getting parties. Like I'm cool, gang. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna I'm, go. I'm, I'm cool for real. Like, you know. Until homecoming, the homecoming I get. You feel me? I get. What was you doing homecoming? You was lit. <laughs> Yeah, I was lit. I was lit whole time. <laughs> Next one is really get involved on campus, like, cause you're gonna meet a whole different kinds of people, and it's very important to have those connections in your future. Like, it depends on whatever whatever job you want to get or whatever. You just it's really good to have those connections and just really meet all these kind of people and get involved. Mm, so, what? How would you say? Like, what do you say is the easiest way to do that as a freshman? Like, you new to the mm. HBCU life. Like, you nervous? You timid? <laughs> like. What you think is the best way to get involved? Um, yeah. I would say try to look for um, what is it? Uh, community service opportunities. Mm -hmm. Cause there be a lot of people that be doing community service, and that's yeah. good. It's a good way to meet people, and also like join different organizations. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different organizations as well too. For sure. And, and it's very important to do join organizations that you really care about and that you really are interested in. Cause a lot of people just be doing it just to do it, but you gotta really do it. So, what's some of the organizations you've gotten involved in over um, the years? So, I'm in Spelman Women in Hip Hop. Spelman Women in Hip Hop, we diff we bring like different artists and different inspiration people to campus to either like speak to us, give us inter internships, shadowing mm -hmm. opportunities, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, that's that's a lot of connections through that. As well. And I'll be seeing you, you be dancing on the tennis courts. <laughs> what's up with that? Like, what's that? That's that's your that's your little. That's nah, your... that's um, you know who JC is. JC, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so JC created a team that's like diverse, mm -hmm. and so it's, it's boys and girls, and it's just a whole group of us that love to dance. So that's yep. how. I'm a part of um, Freshman Show, you feel okay. me? Okay. Big hero, Hubert <laughs> House, you feel me? We got second in our show. Um, we coming up, we got another season coming up for spring semester, but we got second in our show, man. We should have got first, but we was practicing every day, 
and it was a lot going into it, but it's definitely worth it because I met a lot of people, a lot of new relationships was formed through just me stepping and strolling, you feel me? My next uh, key thing would be faith is key, you feel me? Like really tapping in with God, finding your faith through God, you feel me? Because a lot of times, although we're surrounded by a lot of these people at HBCUs, it's a lot of lonely time. Like you be having a lot of lonely downtime. Like and it's like, dang, like you really just self-reflecting. You got you don't got nobody but God. So I would say definitely before you get here and when you get here, build your connection with God and find that faith. You feel me? Yeah. So that one goes goes into my next one. So I said it it gets mentally challenging because my first year, boy, <laughs> my first year I was going through a lot of stuff because because mm. I'm I'm family oriented. So. Mm. When I'm without my family, it was just like, dang, yep. like this is crazy. So I really had to just really fall in love with myself and just really enjoy my alone time because it gets lonely mm -hmm. and it's really, it's really challenging at times. I would say the biggest thing for me was like probably being comfortable in yourself and knowing that you're enough. Like mm -hmm. there's a lot of people, so it'd be easy to compare yourself to this person mm -hmm. or this person. But when you get here, you really gotta be confident and mm -hmm. you feel me, you just gotta be comfortable within be yourself. focused on your yeah. own path and not your compare path. yourself. All right, so my next point would be surround yourself by like-minded people. Like, as soon as you get here, like, it's gonna be the party people and it's mm -hmm. gonna be the people who locked in, you know? <laughs> Me, I'm kinda in the middle, but like, I ain't gonna lie, like, get locked, like, even though they might seem like they nerds or something, like, get locked in with all the people. Get locked in with everybody, bro. All different types of people, because you never know what people will end up like after these four years, you feel me? And don't, if you hang around nine, bro, <laughs> excuse my French, <laughs> but you'll be the 10th, you feel me? So you just gotta lock in, you feel you me? You gotta, you're not lying. You gotta lock in and really surround yourself by people who wanna see you win, wanna see themselves win. And if you see your mm -hmm. brother falling back or your sister falling back, bro, pick them up, you feel me? Like, remind them why they here, you feel me? That's good, yep, that's good. Yep, yep. I see. got a lot of game for a little freshman, <laughs> don't I? Like, you feel me? She ain't no, I guess. She ain't no, I guess. Just intelligent, though. You I know? guess. Um, I would say one thing I wish I knew is that my HBC was in the hood. Like, well, I think all HBCs are in the hood because my freshman year, <laughs> I lived in. Um, well, my sophomore year, I lived in Abbey, and so every every night I would hear gunshots. Wow. Yeah, like it would be going off. I would have to duck underneath my dorm, my bed, and it was crazy. You have to dunk underneath your bed. Yes, because you didn't have to do all that. Yes, I did because my window, my window was right <laughs> from that street, and I had to dunk because it was so close. Okay, so what was I trying to get me? Okay, so <laughs> like she said, yes, HBCUs are in the hood, but the hood is beautiful, guys. Like the hood. Okay, I, like I didn't say it be, was, but it's dangerous. It's, not, people, it's, not all people. It's come dangerous from everywhere. <laughs> like me, I'd rather be in the hood than be in a room full of ten white men. Okay. I'm scared of like, you know like. Okay, I, but it's still dangerous. Like, you know how on, on promenade, on the promenade. On the promenade, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> but like, still though, I feel like, I feel like dangers can happen anywhere. You feel me though? But HBCUs are in the hood, so I would say before you, before you get here, like, be cautious. be cautious and maybe like in your city drive around the hood real cautiously oh so you God. can like oh so you can understand what you feel to get yourself into but Spelman looks real like it's real protective though right like yeah came, I don't think yeah, our, our campus is gated so yeah so it's, it's pretty safe but as soon as you step outside of them as soon as you step outside of your college campus just mm -hmm. stay on tens because when I first got there like first week it was me and my homie right and it was probably like 10 10 Spelman uh, women and we were just walking around. I think we was gonna go get food, mm -hmm. but we was walking around campus and I don't think they've ever been around an environment like that. Mm -hmm. So like me and my homie, we had to play kind of like the tough guy. Like we had to protect them because you knew something to happen. We got to we, we responsible. So a homeless man came and they just started running. Like all 10 of them, they started sprinting away. So we was like, yeah, maybe we Wait, the homeless people was running? No, the homeless people like, the homeless person was just walking. They uh -huh. he asked for money, like he a homeless uh -huh. person, and they just started running, like. Oh, so, okay, that makes sense. So we just, you just got to be cautious of like your surroundings and what you're getting yourself into. My next thing would be like, although we all black at HBCUs, I feel like it definitely exposes you to different cultures within the black community mm -hmm. because like it's different types of black people. You feel me? You got the the rich ones, we got the middle class, we got the people who don't or are less fortunate. You feel me? Like. 
We got people from Louisiana, Texas, you mm -hmm. feel me? Missouri like me, you know, <laughs> Atlanta. Like, it's just like, there's so many different cultures and so many different ways of living and I would never would have knew that until I came here. So mm -hmm. I feel like you definitely have to be open-minded and like, you gotta remember that not everybody's from where you're from. So like, when you say certain things, people might not understand it, but exactly. you, can't, you can't be mad. You just gotta accept the fact that it's different people. What you think about that? Yeah, I agree with that, for real. Cause I have all different kinds of different friends from all over the place, mm -hmm. and sometimes they don't, they want to understand where I'm coming from. But mm -hmm. I like, you know, it's yeah. about communication as well. For sure. But yeah, my next thing is, <laughs> don't take these look, don't take these boys serious. What? Don't take these boys serious. What you Y'all, cause they, uh, they will get you off track. No, they, real. no, we will not. Yes. No, we won't. Yes. No, Especially won't. more housemen. What? Especially more housemen. We want, we want the best. boys be crazy, y'all. They be, ooh. What, wait, crazy on what ways? Like, what you mean? Like, like they just, they just be playing in your face. Like, no. you'll be like, they'll be like, they want you. They'll, they'll do everything in their power to get you. And then they gonna play in your face and go pop up with another girl. Like, no, that's how that's it is. Not, that's the, okay. That's so, how it is, y'all. My testimony, you feel just me? Just play, play with them how they play with you. No, do not listen. <laughs> I feel like we just want love and we want the best, we want the best for you. So when we talking to you, we want the best for you. We want, we really, it's like, we trying to see what's up with you. Like, we really trying to marry you. Like, me personally, I feel like I can talk to my brothers when I say this. Like, we talk to women to marry them. Like, if we, if you're not trying to get married, like, we don't even want to fool with oh, you. Oh, maybe, it's, maybe it's, it's with your friends. No, 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 no. It's <laughs> Legitimate treatment, like it's princess treatment for for those who we choose to like, you know. Mm -hmm. But I will also say to my fellas out there, for my few fellas, don't let these women get you off track. I think I already said that, but like yeah. they will definitely try to get you off track. You feel me? Like it's bad. Like college is about self development anyway, so uh -huh. don't be real focused on a, on trying to get in a relationship because I came into college with a ooh with a three year relationship from home. Ooh. And three years. Yeah. But my yeah, we stayed together to my sophomore year. Mm -hmm. And that was a lot, y'all. It was yeah. a lot. So I would say definitely just think about that and just really cause it's gonna get hard and it's just gonna be like, okay, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. And, and for my fillers out there, <laughs> definitely don't do long distance. Like if yeah, your girl go to an HBCU game, just let her go. Just let her Okay, but let no, her I was loyal, so You were loyal? I was loyal. Okay. She say that for the camera, but I don't really, you feel me? Oh, wow. If she, if she go to the HBCU, just let her go. You feel me? Like, that's what I got. Just let her, just let her, just let her go. Let her do her thing, you feel me? Now, after these four years is over, like, come back into her life, bro. But just let her thrive, you feel me? Like, don't be tender over her, because she, mm -hmm. she trying to do better for herself, bro. So just let her enjoy her time while she's there. You got to be mature about it. Let her, let her. Mess around with some other boys, you feel me? And then, like, after them four years is over, she know where home at. You feel me? Okay. Uh, no? <laughs> no? I mean, because she might find the love of her life in college, so. Uh, she might, but, like, I feel like, I feel like it's always something about that at-home boo, like. Mm. About that. Oh, you got an at-home boo? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though, like, that at-home always hit different. Mm. Like, okay. it's always, it's like, you know, home sweet home. You feel me? Like, <laughs> all right, y'all, if y'all enjoyed this video, though, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I hope this was helpful for y'all. Subscribe to Trinity at Trinity Anaya. You feel me? Follow on Instagram at Trinjas Glow. <laughs> follow on TikTok at Trinity Anaya. <laughs> Why are y'all still not the same? Like, because, so I, because I was tired of Trinjas Glow. And wow. I'm, I'm thinking about changing my Instagram today. To what? Trinity Anaya. That's nice. I think you should. Thanks. Okay, well, yeah, though, subscribe to me, you feel me, get me to 100k on the 100K way. 100k on, on the way. way. You feel me, and follow yeah. me on Instagram. Without further ado, man, peace. Peace. Alright, do it. One, two, three.